Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Data Pairs. Today I'm going to be talking to you about one of my favorite topics of all time in Power BI which is of course report design and today I'm going to share with you some of the tricks that I use that make my life so much easier and my reports look so much nicer and honestly I don't know why it took me so long to record this video or to create this video because I think this is like gold what I'm about to share with you today but I know you're all very curious so let's jump into my laptop so I can tell you everything about my tips on report design and how to make your reports look amazing, impress your colleagues, your manager, everyone. So let's jump into that. And of course, I almost forgot, please hit that subscribe button if it's the very first time that you're watching my videos or even if it's not the very first time, you can still hit the subscribe button, of course. And like the video, comment down below and give me ideas for my next videos. I will really be waiting for that. So without further ado, let's just jump into all the tricks that I have to show you on report design today. So today I want to share with you how do I make my reports look nicer, where do I get ideas from, and some of the tricks that I use to make the entire process a lot easier for me and for everyone really. And the first trick that I want to share is where do I get my ideas from, where do I get my creativity from. So I'm not that creative. I know this might sound a little bit weird, but I get a lot of my ideas from random things that I see online. It's not always necessarily my kind of creative vein that comes up and just makes some very nice designs. Sometimes I go online and do some quick search and get inspiration from others. So this is one of the first web pages that I go for is Adobe Stock and you can do a quick search on dashboard for example and it will give you loads of examples of really nice dashboards and don't tell me ever again that you don't know what good looks like after this. If you don't know what a good report looks like or a bad report looks like, please go to Adobe Stock and get some ideas from there because they really have amazing dashboards. I mean look at this, it really is a nice design that you can quickly replicate something very similar in Power BI. Like this is all very, very nice designs, very nice color schemes, very good layouts that you can use and get creative with it in Power BI. So Adobe Stock is one of the first things, the first places I go for, for um, creative kind of layouts. And the second one is something called FreePick. This is uh, my second choice when it comes to getting ideas for my report designs. And as you can see here, just do a quick search again by dashboard and it will show you loads of different examples of really nice layouts and designs for dashboards or reports that you can, again, steal some of these ideas to your own reports. Don't tell anyone I said this, okay? And the third one that I use, which is not that often that I use this one, is Pinterest, but if you do a quick research by report or dashboard. It also shows you a lot of ideas for uh, reports and dashboards, as you can see here. Really nice reports and dashboards, designs and layouts that you can use and try to replicate in your Power BI reports. So this is my first trick. Layouts, go to Adobe Stock and free pick loads of different layouts, loads of ideas that you can kind of replicate and use yourself, try to replicate and use in your Power BI reports. Now, after I've decided the layout that I'm going for, imagine I'm going for this one. Now I want to, take, to, to get the color scheme. So to get the color scheme, trick number two, I have something, an add-on in my uh, Chrome browser called eyedropper, if I'm not wrong. I'm not sure, but yeah, I think there are loads of different add-ons you can choose from. If you use it, it allows you to pick the colors of the web page. For example, this yellow. I go here and I get the X code for this image, for the yellow in this image, which is amazing. So I can create my color theme entirely based on this layout and this design. So it will make my life so much easier. So I don't have to think, oh, is this color going to look nice or, or, or not that nice? So I have my sample dashboard my idea for the, the report or dashboards in Power BI's report. It just says dashboard here and I'm confused. I have my ideas for my report and I can quickly just get the color scheme from this page here, from this image, from this example, and use the same theme in Power BI. So 
You see how much time you probably save just by doing this, just by using these two pages to get the layouts and then the color scheme. I mean, a lot of time saved here. This is kind of one of the most priceless tips I think I've uh, shared in my video. No excuses for ugly reports ever again, okay? So after I get the layouts, the ideas for my layouts, I get the color scheme. Now, the third part is getting all of this as my background image in Power BI. This is where I'm going, what I'm going to use or what I often use. I don't do the elements in Power BI itself because they might make the report page a little bit slower than it should. So what do I use instead? I build everything in PowerPoint. Imagine I have a report like this, which looks very ugly. I know that's the whole idea. The whole point is having an ugly report and making it look pretty, right? So this is my very ugly report. And this is literally just a screenshot for, from my report in Power BI. The good thing about PowerPoint is that if you take a screenshot of your report page in Power BI and the size of the slide in PowerPoint, they will almost perfectly match, as you can see here. This is stuff that I added here, but just because, yeah, I wanted to have uh, an idea of the sizes of things and the navigation, sizes for navigation and all of that. But the screenshot from your report page in Power BI will match almost perfectly the size of the slide in PowerPoint. So if you just take the screenshot, put it here, you don't have to worry later about like elements not fitting in, like, you know, you can literally just use this uh, screenshot and start adding elements to it, getting the inspiration from the other example. So if I go here, I just insert a shape. I can insert the shape so it kind of fits my KPI card. And as you can see, it's not that hard. So, and you can keep doing this, adding shapes and more shapes just to fit your KPIs. Of course, I'm trying to do this very quickly, but you get the idea. You can have all your shapes here, just the placeholders for your visuals in Power BI. And then once you're done, you just delete the, the, the screenshot, kind of the background image, and hopefully you will get something that looks like this. So I have all my elements that fit perfectly, my um, screenshot from before. I'm just going to take the screenshot and put it here so you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to reduce the transparency. It kind of fits everything perfectly. I have to align still a few things in Power BI, but that's for later. But in theory, everything fits perfectly in my newly created layout that I created in, just created in PowerPoint. So let me just delete this image. This is kind of my third trick using PowerPoint to get the layouts for your pages in your Power BI reports. And then the fourth trick is icons. How do I get this icon? So you can get these icons from PowerPoint itself in icons. You have loads of icons that you can choose from in PowerPoint itself. But if you want to be a little bit more creative, you can go to something called flat icon or flat icon. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. And you can do a quick search by sales, for example. You want something that represents sales in your reports. So you can go here and do that research, do that search, sorry, and get loads of different icons that you can download and use in your reports. And these icons, you can even change the color and choose instead of black, choose something else and just download. And it, yes, it's free. You can download it for free. So it's a really, really nice tool to get ideas for your icons um, that I use very, very, very often. These are my, my four tips for report design in Power BI. And again, if you do all of this, it will make your reports like look a lot, a lot nicer, like straight away. So now if I go back to Power BI, this was my original report, right? And everything I've done is adding my background image and formatting the, the visuals a little bit. And this is what I got in the end. You can see it looks so much nicer than the original version. And I didn't take that much time to build th this, to build this design. So it's just for you to see that even if you're not creative, there are loads of resources online that you can use to get creativity from and just build reports that look so much nicer, so much more professional. And that's 
your users will love using. So just make sure you use all these tips and you will never have ugly reports. Again, you will impress your colleagues, your manager, everyone will be super happy with the reports that you build from now on. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any more ideas for my next videos, please, as usual, just comment down below. I'll make sure I read all the comments. Not promising, but usually I do read all the comments. So yeah, just hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one.